Hey, Ben from Moodle User Guides here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Moodle's assignment annotation feature. So I'm in an assignment activity. I have a couple submissions that I can look at. I'm going to click View All Submissions and then find one of my assignments which has been submitted for grading. Then I will click Grade to pull up the annotation. So this will work on pretty much any recent version of Moodle as long as students are turning in PDF files. If you are on a brand new version of Moodle, you might even have the capability for Moodle to convert Word documents or PowerPoints or other types of documents into PDFs for you automatically. But to be on the safe side, you can have your students turn in PDFs. This should work. So looking at the basic navigation, I have a multiple page document here. I can scroll up and down with my mouse and to change pages, I'm gonna use the arrows up here to navigate through the paper. I also can go back and forth between different users here. So I can type in the name of one of my students here or uh, click this down arrow to bring up a list of all the students to jump to one of their submissions. This filter icon lets me choose if I wanna look at just ones that are waiting for grading, just ones that are submitted. So you can kind of improve your grading workflow that way and just go through the different submissions. These two icons here are probably your main tools. Those are for creating comments that you can add on to the paper. So this option with the colorful squares controls what color or what style your comments are going to be. You have white, a couple of colors, and clear. So I'll choose, say, yellow. I can click and drag my mouse to create a new comment. Then I would just type in whatever it is that I wanted to add for my comment. Okay, and as soon as I click away, that comment has been added to the submission. You can see right now it's collapsed. When I uh, mouse over that, that becomes something that I can then read the comment. This control here collapses or expands all the comments in the submission. Other things that I can do with my comments, if I click on the arrow that's pointing up and to the left here, I can save this comment to my quick lists. That would allow me then to create another comment and quickly choose a kind of stock comment that I have in my library. Also, if I click on the up arrow, I have the option to delete comments out of the submission. If I want to manipulate this comment, I want to switch over to this tool that looks like a mouse pointer. That is then going to let me move the comment around Next on the toolbar, I have some additional annotation tools for drawing, creating lines or shapes, or for highlighting. This color icon here controls the color of your highlighter. So you can choose which color you want, and then come down, and then you're able to just click and draw with your mouse and highlight text. Finally, on the toolbar here, we have some stamps. So this icon all the way in the end controls which stamp you're going to add onto the paper and the stamp button then lets you stamp that icon wherever you click on the paper. Again, if you wanna manipulate these after you put them onto the submission, make sure to click the mouse cursor icon. You can then click on them and move them around or delete them. The last icon I'll point out is the search. This lets me just search through and filter my different comments and jump straight to them. On the right hand side, I have a pane that is for my Moodle grading. So this is where I can enter a grade that's going to go into the grade book. I can add sort of a summary of uh, feedback comments here. And at the bottom, I have a toggle that lets me hide that pane or bring it out full screen or leave it out in a sort of this sidebar here. At the bottom, I have a checkbox where I can choose whether I want my students to get an email notification when I submit their grades or not. And then I can save and show next or save my changes and exit. This button lets you completely reset the submission if you decide you want to start over. So that has been a brief look at annotating assignments in Moodle. Hope that has been helpful and we'll see you next time.